Hi, my name is Erin Rosas, and I'm a curriculum developer at Starburst. Today I'm going to show you around Starburst Galaxy, our fully managed data lake analytics platform. Let's get started. I'm on my login screen, and as you can see, I have a few options for logging in. One is to use my username and password, or the other is to use Okta. I've set up single sign-on with Okta for myself, but there are other options for SSO that you can integrate, such as Google, Azure AD, and AWS. I'm just going to go ahead and sign in with Okta. Now that I'm logged in, on the left-hand side of my screen, you can see the main navigation menu. And at the top of my screen is where I can edit my profile and settings and switch between roles that have been assigned to me. I can also log out from here. Right now I'm in the query editor where I can run queries against my connected data sources. Here I can run federated queries, which I'll show you in a bit. And I can easily open multiple tabs to organize my queries. I can even run more than one query in the same tab. On the left here, I have my Cluster Explorer pane, which shows me my clusters, catalogs, schemas, tables, and columns. If I have any views or materialized views, they would be shown here as well. So just to quickly show you, I expanded my cluster, and now I have all my catalogs listed. And now I can just go through and expand each of those to get to the next level. So I expanded a catalog. Now you can see the schemas. I'll expand a schema. And now I can see the tables. And finally, I'll expand table and I can see all of the columns from that table. Starburst Galaxy saves my queries for me, and I can access them by clicking Saved Queries over here. So now you can see my recent queries, and you can see my saved queries, and then any queries that are shared with me. And I can also share queries with other roles if I'd like to. Let's go back to the query editor so I can run that federated query that I promised you. This query is joining data from a PostgreSQL catalog with data from a catalog that is connected to an Amazon S3 bucket. So I'll go ahead and run it. Now that my results have come back, I have the option to download the results as a CSV, see the execution details in the Trino UI, see the query details, and even create a data product. I'm going to look at the query details. So the first page that it takes me to shows me a high-level overview of the query execution details, and then also it shows me the query text and some basic information about the query. I can click on the Advanced tab here to see some more granular information, and I can also see a query plan, which is really great for troubleshooting. I can also see the stages of my query, and I can see that as a list or in a graph form. Let's move on to the Catalog section of Starburst Galaxy. This is where I can search through my catalogs, dig in and get more details about the catalogs, schemas, and tables, and also add metadata to my data entities. It's really easy to connect my data sources here, too. And as you can see, I have lots of options for types of data sources to connect. Starburst Galaxy also comes with these sample data sets for you to play around with. Next, I'm going to go over to Data Products. Data Products increase the discoverability of your data with curated, high-quality related data sets and relevant metadata. I'm not going to go too deeply into how to use Data Products in this video, but we do have some lab-based courses on Starburst Academy if you'd like to take a deep dive into using Data Products. Let's move on to the Clusters pane. Here I can create a cluster. And as you can see, I have a lot of options for the type of cluster that I want to create. So for execution mode, for instance, I can choose Fault Tolerant Execution or Accelerated, which is our warp speed feature. And then I can also choose my cluster size and even customize it to set up auto scaling. I'm going to close that here. And then from this pane, I can also see the high level details of my cluster. And I can quickly resume a cluster, enable it, or disable it. Next, we have Partner Connect. And Partner Connect is a compilation of business intelligence and data integration tools from Starburst partners that connect directly to Starburst Galaxy clusters. This section is currently in public preview. Over here under Account on the left-hand side, we have Admin, which is the section of Starburst Galaxy that gives you options to see a log of your activity. You can also set up a cluster configuration. You can check out your usage and billing information. And you can also edit your notification settings from here. Let's check out Access Control next. Under Access Control, you can add or edit users. You can add roles and privileges. If I click into one of my roles here, and I go to Privileges, and then Add Privilege, you can see that there are many options for granting and denying permissions, which facilitates fine-grained access control. I'm going to skip down here to Tags next. And this is where you can create and edit tags at two hierarchical levels. This can be used for universal search and attribute-based access control. 
And as you can see down here, you can also create row filters and column masks, which are both in public preview at the moment. The last thing I want to show you is cloud settings down here. And this allows you to configure cloud-specific security settings for AWS, Azure, and Google. That's all for this Starburst Galaxy walkthrough. We're continuously adding new features and updates, so make sure to check back often and give us feedback. And if you want to get hands-on with any of our features, be sure to check out the Starburst Galaxy Feature Lab courses on Starburst Academy. Thanks for watching.